In today's podcast, I'll be talking about Informix Dynamics Server and WebSphere MQ integration. Let's consider this application scenario. We have an order entry application. It uses Informix Dynamics Server for persistence. It uses WebSphere MQ for heterogeneous integration with other modules in the system, shipping, inventory, and credit card processing. So this order entry application has to manage three separate connections, one to the Informix Dynamics Server, other to MQ, and to manage the information exchange between these two modules, it has to use a separate transaction manager to guarantee reliability. That also means it has three different programming paradigms and three different programming APIs one for database connection where, it, where it's mostly SQL oriented, another API to use for MQ that's MQI if your uh, program is based in C, JMS if it's in Java. In addition, a new API has to be used to interact with the transaction manager. So this obviously is uh, pretty expensive. Let's look at what happens when we provide certain functionality built into Informix 10 Mix Server. Informix Server 10 and 11 have built-in MQ support. It has set of MQ functions that you that you can use to retrieve messages from MQ to Informix directly and to send data from Informix to MQ directly. In addition, Informix also manages the transaction that means the two phase commit for all the interactions between IDS and WebSphere MQ. Let's look at what ha what happens to the application uh, scenario once we start using the MQ f features within IDS. You no longer need the transaction manager because you are using the built-in IDS transaction manager so the transaction manager interaction modules will go away. Since you can directly communicate between Informix Dynamics Server and MQ through this SQL and the set of functions that we have used, you no longer need the connection to the MQ directly and the MQ module will go away. And you only need one connection to the server and you, your interaction of IDS database and WebSphere MQ will be simply based on SQL and you, we have features in IDS to treat some of the queues in WebSphere MQ as tables so it can be directly through functions or through uh, this table interface from which you can select or insert into and we also have two-phase commit which manages the transaction for all the interactions between IDS and MQ so, so this before and after scenario should give you an idea about the simplified approach to IDS and WebSphere MQ interaction. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.